Hi, Mitch Bailey here. You, uh, if you're a contractor, an HVAC contractor, you're supposed to log refrigerants. It's a requirement by the EPA. We're supposed to log the refrigerants that we recover or the refrigerant that we add to a system. Uh, and some of us do it and, and some of us don't. Now, I want to show you a real quick, easy method that I use now. And, and I really like this method and I use Microsoft Forms for it. I created a form called Refrigerant Logs and it's it's just a form and in that form I can uh, go in and I create it I put the technicians names and it's a drop down menu so if we if we looked at it uh, let's look at a preview of what it looked like so the guys when they they'll scan a QR code that's actually we print out the QR code and put it on our refrigerant tanks and our recovery cylinders and then when a guy when we get let's say a new new tank let's say R410A and it's a brand new tank we put that on there you can record them you can give every tank a serial number you can record all that stuff and you can do that in the form if you want to we're not tracking it that hard but what we do is we get a new tank we put that on there and as a technician let's just say it's me so I go down here and I would go Mitch and I'd put the job name whatever the job name is and let's just say it's David Smith is the job name and then uh, it's gonna so ask what refrigerant type and I'm going to put I put 410A and I what did I add? Uh, what I did I add refrigerant, remove refrigerant, or did I recover refrigerant? Well, what we did was we added refrigerant, and I added let's say two pounds, three ounces. Okay, that's done. I hit the submit button, and that will go to automatically. I will get an email that said that I added refrigerant because in the forms, in the Microsoft forms. Uh, what I've done is, and let's just go back here, and that was the email just coming across. What I've done is I've gone to the three little dots over here in the forms, and I've told um, that I, the Microsoft Forms, that I want to get an email every time somebody submits a form. So no matter who it is, I get I get it submitted. I get an email. So does, uh, and I you can put as many people as you want to get that email. And that email notification tells me that somebody submitted a new refrigerant log form that they actually logged the refrigerant they used. And I can look at the responses. And so we, when we click on that, let me go to the email. So here's my email. And let's see, here's a new one, new response for refrigerant log. So I'll click on that. And then I can hit view results and it'll take me right to Microsoft Forms. And then I click on the Excel uh, where I can look at it as an Excel spreadsheet. So I'll click on that and it'll it'll populate it with all the forms that have been submitted and I can go down here so the last form and it's it's the it's chronological so it's the first form was the first date it was done and so there, there it is there's Mitch David Smith and I put two pounds three ounces in so I know the refrigerant I can sort this I can sort by type of refrigerant I can sort by the person that was installing it I can do all that it's Microsoft Excel it's very easy to use I can sort it by the customer so I can sort it by the date it was done, how much refrigerant we've used, how much 410A have we used in the last month. I can find that out very quickly just uh, with a simple sort procedure on an Excel spreadsheet. And this is a Microsoft 365 account I have. Now, some people say, well, what, what are you going to do about if you have you know, technicians? Are you going to have to have a, a 65, 365 account for each technician? No, you don't have to. So what you do is when you do your, your forms, I just do collect responses what I'm going to do is I'm going to put anyone can respond they do not have to be in my group so it could be anybody as long as they have that QR code can respond on that form and it will send me an email once somebody does it so all our techs have we print the QR code and it just looks like this is simply we just uh, print that QR code out tape it to um, the, the equipment and uh, to the tanks, to the recovery cylinders and to their uh, refrigerant tanks when they get in there. We just take some packing tape and just tape it onto the tank. And then when the guy needs to add or remove refrigerant, they can scan that QR code, how many pounds and ounces they've done. And then it automatically goes uploads once they hit the submit form, it goes right up to the cloud. We get to see it. it. I get an email. I'm able to sort and look at it. It's a real easy way to track refrigerant for a company. So if you're a, a, an up and coming company, you, you just need one 365 account. You can create all these forms. You just need to do it one time. There's a, you'll find a million uses for Microsoft Forms. Trust me, I use it all the time. I use it for quizzes. I use it for our logins for our, if we're if we're having
having um, company meetings. That's how the people log in via a Microsoft form. They know, and I see who attended. The, they, they can't scan the QR code. I print out a couple of QR codes, leave them on the tables. And the guys scan them in. There's a quiz usually that they have to take for our safety meetings and trainings. And they can do that. It's very easy to use Microsoft Forms to do this for you. Uh, you sort it, you can use it. It's something that we all should be doing as an HVAC contractors is, is having refrigerant logs and tracking our refrigerant. This is a very easy way to do it. Give it a shot. If you like it, you know, put it in the comments, okay? If you don't like it, put it in the comments. Uh, uh, some companies have their own software, and that's great if you're tracking it already. But if you're not tracking it, you need to start because at some point in time, they're going to, it's a $10,000 fine, I do believe, per occurrence if they catch you. Uh, and if somebody knows what the exact fine is, I don't know, but I thought it was $10,000. So I hope you liked the video. Please like and subscribe. And, um, you know, if you hit the notifications button, you should get notified when there's a new video that comes out. I do a lot of videos for HVAC contractors, and I do a lot of videos for customers. Um, so if you're a customer, this is probably not for you. This is for us guys in the, in the field and contractors and the technicians. Try it. I think you'll love it. Again, thanks for watching, and hopefully you'll see me on the next video. Have a good day.